Hamdin Sabahi is one of Egypt's veteran politicians. The self-styled socialist has been involved in politics for over 40 years. He started off as a student activist and is now one of two candidates contesting Egypt's top position. Sabahi has served twice as a member of parliament, both times during the rule of the deposed president Hosni Mubarak. He became known at the time as a vocal advocate of economic justice and a supporter of pan-Arabism or Arab unity. Sabahi joined the anti-government protests in 2011 that swept across the country and ultimately got rid of Mubarak. His Karama or Dignity Party then formed a coalition with the Muslim Brotherhood in the parliamentary elections that followed that uprising. That parliament was later dissolved by a military decree, a decision he did not object to. This is not the first time Sabahi runs for president. In 2012, he was one of six candidates who took part in Egypt's first ever free and fair presidential election. He came third. The Muslim Brotherhood's Mohamed Mursi went on to win those elections, but within months, Sabahi became one of Mursi's main critics. In late 2012, Sabahi helped form what became known as the National Salvation Front. He and his new allies were angered by a controversial presidential decree that gave temporary immunity to the president. They insisted Mursi no longer had any legitimacy and had to be removed. Sabahi portrayed himself as a champion of democracy and civilian rule, but went on to back the military coup that overthrew Egypt's first democratically elected president. Ironically, Sabahi now says he is the only candidate who can end military rule. His campaign is also centered on his long-time causes of social and economic justice. On foreign policy, he supports a shift towards allying Cairo with Moscow rather than Washington. He's been known to have close ties with Syria's President Bashar al-Assad and has publicly thanked the economic and political support given by Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to the 2013 coup. Observers insist that Sabahi stands little chance of beating his opponent, former army chief Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, and have criticized him for taking part in an election process that many say has been unfair and undemocratic from the start. Jamal al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera.